Israel is experiencing one of its biggest nightmares. I'm sure you've heard about this. The brutal murdering. Kidnapping. And raping of innocent people in Israel. Or haven't you? In today's world, it depends on which news platform you follow. The BBC, New York Times, Washington Post, and many other big news media platforms are all referring to Hamas as a militant or resistant group. Tell me, this is how you fight for freedom? Were ISIS freedom fighters? Al-Qaeda? The Nazis? Hamas, just like them, is an extremist terror organization aiming to slaughter Israelis, Thai, Europeans, Americans, Jews, Christian, Muslims, just for being who they are. While we are mourning, and many of us still don't know if their loved ones are abducted or dead, videos denying the massacre of young men and women in a music festival and the horrific butchering of babies are sent out into the world. Here's a video that was shared on an Instagram account with more than half a million followers. 250 people were killed at a concert. False. The only videos we have seen are people running away from the concert. <laughs> I was always in shock to hear that someone could actually deny something as terrible as the Holocaust. Well, after all this, I'm a little less shocked. And the major Al Jazeera News Corporation, did Hamas behead babies, actually made a video in which they were discussing whether babies were beheaded or just shot in the head. And you've probably heard of the alleged Israeli hospital bombing in Gaza a claim made by Hamas to shift blame away from the failed Islamic Jihad missile launch. But the evil terror that struck Israel on October 7th left a mark on many media channels around the world. The Weltam Sontag published on their front page the names of 1,300 Israelis murdered in one day by Hamas. The Sun published on their cover the picture of eight-year-old Emily murdered by Hamas. The Daily Telegraph published the most difficult image ever posted so that each and every one of you know this happened. More than 300,000 young men and women left their day-to-day -day lives and joined the reserves protecting Israel. My friends, my family, even my fiance I was supposed to marry the day after the attack. They are in the front line protecting Israel, but there are more ways to help just with this. So here's what you can do. Share the truth about the horrific things Hamas did or choose not to share and even report the lies and fake news media platforms are spreading because you might be the next in line.